Hello guys, so it's Jazzy Ray here. Um, I didn't want to put out any chart readings until I put this video out. So I will be filming chart readings. Don't worry. It probably won't show my face though because I'm using my phone to record. And my um, camera battery has a charge. So I'm just going to do the charts. I am going to do the charts, but I'm going to have to do it some other way. Um, but anyway, that's not why we're here. If you haven't been aware of what's going on, um, basically a, a black male, um, George Floyd, 40, I believe he was 47 years old or 46 years old, um, basically was murdered by police. I kind of been peeping things ever since, honestly, since we've been in quarantine, just the energy that's been out in the world I've been peeping things and I haven't talked about it on Twitter or anything like that because I just wanted to be sure that what I was feeling was correct I am an empath so I feel a lot of different energies at one time so Ahmaud Avery Breonna Taylor you know I've been peeping I've been peeping things and then this happens as soon as they um, started opening things back up and I've been feeling like, watch something happens. Watch something happens. This happens. Now, shout out to Lovely T because that's how I found out this happened. Um, this horrific event happened. The video, she put the video out. Video out. Um, I didn't want to watch it just for the simple fact. I kind of numbed myself to, po to police brutality. I kind of just numbed it. Like, you know what? It is what it is. You know, these, it happens, nobody, you know, people will protest and then it'll go away. That's just, that's just the reality of the situation. But my ancestors was like, no, Jazz, you need to go back and watch that video. You need to watch this video. So I went back and I watched it three times. The first time I watched it from the eyes of a human, okay, feeling emotional and, and just angry, you know, I cried out of anger, out of hurt, out of just, wow, really, you know? And that man did not, for the life of me, I'm just like, why do you still have your knee on this man's neck? You're killing him. You're killing him. I just, I just felt all type of different things, hurt, pissed off, all every emotion you can think of, every negative emotion, emotion you can think of, I felt it. And I went back and I watched it the second time. Now, the second time I'm watching it from a psych psychological point of view, and I'm just like, something about this don't sit right with me. I mean, murder in general, like police brutality in general doesn't sit right with me. But it's something about this situation that does not sit right. So, I went back. I said, let me go back and check out some other videos because this video is different. This situation is different. I feel something here. So I went back and I watched Philando Castile, who also died in Minneapolis. And we all know that story. He he, you know, was licensed to carry and he followed he followed the laws. Like he 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 did he followed the orders that the police officer was giving him. He still ended up dead anyway. But I went back and I watched it again. This time I watched it and I was looking at the officer. Because I'm trying to compare the officer in that video and the officers in this video. Now, the officer had like the typical reaction when you kill somebody. Typical. Not saying he was right because he should have got time. He did not get time from, from, from that. He was found not guilty. But I'm like, hmm. Hmm. That's a typical reaction. He was, he was legit scared. Which brings the argument if you're going to be scared like that you shouldn't be working with law enforcement that requires a lot of courage a lot of bravery then i went back and i watched the george floyd video one more time i said it three times and i'm like no you know what them officers look a little too calm for me like this is deeper than police brutality this was personal this was like murder this is this was personal and then what happened can come to find out the officer that had his knee on George's neck knew each other knew each other that came out and I'm like see I knew it was something I knew it was something which means this was personal this was personal it's beyond police brutality at this point and I'm not saying police police brutality is not an issue because clearly it is you have people 
peacefully protesting, and yet the police officers shooting tear gas, shooting tear gas at children. This is like the 1950s and the 60s all over again. The only thing they haven't, actually, I was going to say the only thing they haven't done, done yet was sick the dogs. But I saw one video, the officer sick the dog on this black dude, and it took him like, what, five minutes to like get the dog off his, like, he bit into his skin. Do y'all not understand how serious that is? Like, the time, this is why I tell people, know your history, because history is repeating itself. Now, as far as these protests go, this is my issue what makes me mad because you got people who are more concerned with the businesses than they are about the issue at hand now would I go out and loot no because I, I if I go to a protest I'm there to peacefully protest I'm not trying to steal nothing or nothing like that okay but it is what it is you can't tell people how to feel you can't tell people people are angry people are tired of injustice tired of it and you have to remember too this is some dark energy this is dark energy so it's spreading everywhere negativity spreads so fast it does everybody's on edge to me I just feel like it is what it is it is what it is do I agree with it but am I going to condemn somebody from looting no busting out windows no but now we know that a lot of what's going on as far as the looting and setting the buildings on fire now we know those are infiltrators so that i don't agree with because you're turning a movement into something you turn it into chaos and that's not what this movement movement is about and i'm not going to get into all lives matter black lives matter if you can't get it then you, you just got you, you get gone you can't get if you can't understand what that means get gone because I don't have time for you what I'm noticing during this time is a lot of true colors are coming out and mind you I, I want to let you guys know too I know it seems like I'm all over the place I don't know I don't know where this video is gonna head what direction this video is gonna head I'm just saying what's on my mind a lot of people have been showing their asses and I'm here for it because you got people because I'm not gonna lie to you you have people who are joining these protests just or, or looting just for clout just because it's the trendy thing to do and I'm not with that if your heart ain't in it if you just supporting it because it's just oh it's the cool thing you're trying to get some followers you can get going with that because this is real this is serious people are dying people are dying kids are getting tear gassed and they're dying due to this I don't think you guys understand the seriousness of this I want to start off with the I'm not racist, my best friend's black type people. I'm gonna start with you guys. Now to the to the people who I'm like white people, if you guys, you know, are speaking out you know against police brutality and you guys are just your human beings and you realize that this is an issue, I'm not talking about you guys. Keep doing what you're doing because it just lets me know that you're also human and you're doing your research and you're learning like my one good friend, she's white. She's literally doing her research on Malcolm X and the Black Panthers. And I thank you because we've been trying to tell y'all that the Black Panthers is not what y'all think it is, but you know, whatever. So I'm not talking about you guys. I'm talking about the white people who are remaining silent or who are concerned about the looting or who are concerned, you know, they just, I don't know, you know, like it. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this just because you have a white friend doesn't mean that they're not racist <laughs> I'm just gonna say that because in our heads we we have like we think that the white friends some of our white friends oh they're for they're for black people they're friends with me no I've had so many white friends that I had to check like this one white girl I had to check because she's racist she almost got me kicked out of school actually you know, but she got karma bit her in the ass because she 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 had to leave school. So karma bit her right in the ass. You know, and I'm still in school, about to graduate next year. Anyway, I just feel like to the people, to the to the, my non-black friends or just non-black people who are speaking out, check your community, 
what y'all been doing that y'all been putting other white people in check like so many videos i've seen and i'm just like whoa like y'all are really mad about this you know what i mean so it's like keep them in check please keep your community in check that's all i ask now let me get on to black people cooning <laughs> Y'all are showing y'all asses and y'all ain't doing nothing. Black Hollywood, whoever. Okay, y'all showing y'all asses thinking y'all about to get another acting gig after this. Let me, let me remind you that we have an eclipse about to happen. And when there is an eclipse, things flip. The tables are the tables are turned. So if you're thinking you're about to have an acting career after this, after this think again, honey. Shamik Moore, Trina, Shekinah, all of them. Um... This fool. I, I'm still mad about Shameek Moore. It's not even fun. I'm not. I'm not mad because I never was a stand of his. I never really too much cared for him to be honest. I seen interviews of him and I'm just like, you know what? He, he it's something about that boy that ain't right. And it came out. It came out. Um, this he had the nerve. Cause he's like the biggest hypocrite ever. Cause you had the nerve to say. Oh, well, now, let me just say something. He came out and basically was like, we need to come up with more ways to do, deal with the police. We can't be aggressive and things like that. I get where he's coming with that. That wasn't, he, I didn't really get mad at him for that. I just felt like, dude, like, we tried everything. We tried to be cooperative. Did, did you not, do you not remember Philando Castile? Like, we tried doing that, and it doesn't work, so... That's apparently that's not the solution. That wasn't what made me mad though. What made me mad was this fool had the nerve to say, I'm not I don't I don't care about I'm not concerned with black history. I'm worried about black future. Sir, how are you concerned with black future when you're bringing up Rosa Parks? You do know she's part of black history. And then you had the audacity to say Rosa Parks could have took a taxi. Because they were black owned taxi cabs. Why didn't she just take a taxi? Nigga. Are you serious right now? I, at this point, I'm like, okay, you're trolling at this point. You're trolling at this point. And you sound stupid. For one, you need to do your research because there were many people before Rosa Parks. Okay? D does Claudette Colvin ring a bell to you? Because Claudette Cl Colvin was the one of the first people to do, to, you know get on the bus, get kicked off the bus, and all that. But what happened was, this is what happened. Now, Claudette was 15. She was pregnant at the time. And they, the NWACP didn't want to use her. So they used Rosa Parks. That's the honest to God truth, okay? But whether or not Rosa Parks was the first one, to start the movement or Claudette was are you implying that both of them or just anybody who got kicked off the bus for being black she just took, had took a taxi is that what you're implying sir so I'm just like you know what we're done with Shameik Moore we I've been like I told you Shameik Moore I never cared for him anyway so it was it was whatever but thank god he showed his ass because he's not going to be getting any more acting parts um John Boyega though like I'm not really a big fan of his but Cause I don't watch Star Wars. I ain't really into Star Wars. But he, if you gonna be anybody or date anybody, get you a man like that, okay? Cause he like fuck all y'all. Like he just like you know what? There is injustice happening, and I'm about to sit here and, 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 and I'm willing to risk risk my career over this. Like John's gonna still have a career. Trust me, he's still gonna have a career. But my thing is when he said, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna have a career after this. But fuck all that. That's the energy I like to see. Cause right now, who cares? about your career your clothing line who cares right now we have bigger issues to worry about right now at least if you're going to go ahead and continue to promote yourself at least speak on the issue at hand i'm just saying you know and then you got Trina sitting here calling people gorillas and, 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 and banshees and all that and all the shit that she was saying and we already know about Trina. Uh, and then you got freaking Shekinah here crying over Gucci I wasn't crying over Gucci yeah you were and shout out to Tory Lanez because he checked her on that respectfully. And she was the one who was like, ah, you know. You got called out, boo. You got called out. 
everybody's shoe colors and then you have fucking ti oh my god i can't believe i used to have a crush on this man you have fucking ti come out and call <laughs> you came out and called freaking atlanta wakanda i'm like and then you walked off like you like you didn't say something who told ti who called ti well we sitting here i, I wonder if ja rule gonna speak up you know, every time when something happens, they always call Ja Rule. <laughs> I'm glad I can find some humor in this situation. I wonder if he go, but just like Ja Rule, who called T.I.? Don't nobody want to hear from you, T.I. Mush mouth. Where's Snoop Dogg at? Where's Snoop at? Oh, he, he too busy arguing with people in, in, in the shade room. But you ain't came out and said nothing. Hmm? I'm just like, yo, like, <laughs> what is going on, man? I, I'm here for it. I'm here for people being called out. I'm here for people showing their asses. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I've been saying this since the since the, the, the um pandemic. Everybody gonna start showing their true colors doing doing this time of quarantine. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the quarantine. I don't know. But I'm about to get into something deeper right now. So I'ma just say this. Lovely T. Shout out to Lovely T. I don't know if she's ever gonna see this video. I've been a tea sip sipper since I was fifteen. So we go way back. She called out everything I've been saying and thinking. She let me know that I'm not crazy. Because everything she said in her life, I said the same thing. She basically said the energy is dark and this whole thing has been a setup. And I agree. I agree. And she said some shit in the video, which I'm gonna make another video talking about it. Why I'm gonna tell you it's a setup, but she said some shit in the video that really made me think. Like, damn. But I'm gonna just leave off by saying this. I'm gonna. It's a lot of stuff that I say in this video that I'm about to cut out because it has no relevance to the video. But I'm gonna just say this. Keep on protesting if you can because everybody got a part to play now think of this as one big show everybody got a role to play here okay we need people to go out and protest you know why we need people to protest not only to to in you know to to bring awareness but we need to know what's going on at these protests because now that we know that there's infiltrators undercover cops white supremacists of the cover of white supremacists and things like that we need to know what's going on okay we need to know what's going on two we need people to sign petitions and to donate if you can and this is for my spiritual workers empath which is if you're into astrology if you're into the, the nature whatever okay all we can do is send positive energy to protect the protesters and protect our people because my thing is i'm all for prayer like when b simone you know i'm all for that but i'm not praying for the enemy fuck that that's why we're in the situation that we're in now so send positive energy to the protesters going out and to our people when you go if if, if any of you spiritual workers empaths whatever go out and protest bring some sage Bring some sage. In fact, tomorrow is the full moon. We need to be doing a protection ritual so our people will be okay. And when I say our people, I'm talking about pro everybody who's 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 speaking out against this. You know what I mean? We need to we need all the protection we can get because shit is about to get real. And as far as Trump go, I don't know why y'all so shocked about Trump. Trump is a big baby. Okay, he's he's a big Gemini baby. But Hey, shit about to really pop off, y'all. I hope YouTube let me post this, but that's all I gotta say. I do have another video coming up talking about this situation. It's for my spiritual workers. Um, but subscribe. Oh, I just seen 2222. Subscribe, comment. Let me know how y'all feel about the situation. How y'all feel about people showing their asses, showing their true colors? Are y'all here for it? Because I am. <laughs> and I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye.